I think on a very general level, um, and without getting into yeah, a whole strength and conditioning degree or masters, um, you can probably group strength <laughs> yeah. training into, into three main areas. So you've got heavy resistance training, which is kind of lifting your barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells mainly. Um, for repetition ranges of up to about eight or so. Um, you've got explosive resistance training, which is moving light to moderate loads as quickly as we possibly can. So that would be things like throwing a medicine ball, maybe jumping onto a big box, um, and then weightlifting skills, so things like clean and jerks and snatches, which are obviously a big part of strength and conditioning. And then the third category being plyometric exercises, um, which are things like jumps, uh, hopping and bounding, where essentially we're trying to um, travel across the surface or, or rebound off the surface with as short a ground contact time as possible. Um, and again, going back to the review that I mentioned before, we, we, we found that these, like all three of these different strength training activities seem to offer benefits. And there doesn't seem to be one out of those three which is better than the other. And so therefore, my, usually my recommendation to most runners is, is that they attempt to try and include all of these, either across a training year with some sort of periodized model or a little bit more concurrently. And so that there's bits of heavy resistance training, there's some explosive work and there's some plyometric training. But we're maybe like emphasizing a little bit more or less of each during different parts of the training year.